Edinburgh, Scotland's heart. Quite literally, it's bedrock. Nowhere in the world is building with stone more embedded in a city's and a country's history. And not just one stone. The nation's geology is as diverse as anywhere in the world, and that's reflected in the way its people have built their castles, monuments and homes over the centuries. But this is a country also famous, or maybe infamous, for its weather. And nowhere does that take its toll more than on its buildings. Take this, the King's Fountain at Linlithgow Palace. It's been standing for more than 400 years. The intricacies of the medieval carvings here really take your breath away. The guys who made this really knew what they were doing. But even stone like this won't last forever. And that's where we come in. Backed up by decades of research and the latest scientific techniques, the BGS Building Stones team provides expert advice to anyone and everyone dealing with our shared stone heritage. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how that works. I'm Paul Everett from the British Geological Survey's Building Stone team. It's our job to provide geological advice on selecting replacement stone for repairs to stone structures. I'm on Cotton Hill in Edinburgh, home of the City Observatory, and this, the National Monument, a symbol of strength and enlightenment. And that strength lies in the stone itself. The National Monument is particularly special. On the top there, the lintels are among the largest blocks of Craigley sandstone ever quarried. So where does that famous stone come from? Well, this is Craigley quarry at the height of its production. For the builders of Edinburgh's new town, it was simply the best. Stone that stood the test of time and still dominates the city's skyline. But when it comes to preserving that skyline, there's a problem because this is what Craig Leaf Quarry looks like now. So, my shopping list when I come down to my local supermarket is quite different because I'm looking for this. These are the top beds of Craig Leaf Quarry. The rest is buried under our feet, under millions of tons of landfill. And this is the problem. After hundreds of years, even the strongest of stones can start to decay and require repair. This block here, the front has fallen off. But not only that, see how soft it is. It's starting to decay rapidly and eventually will require replacement or the structure will come down. But what do we do when the original stone is buried under a supermarket car park? We must turn elsewhere. And our decades of research and knowledge of other quarried sites means we can help to pick an ideal match. And in the best tradition, here's one we prepared earlier. This wall required replacement stone. We analysed the stonework and selected the best match for repairs to the building. You might think this looks totally wrong, but it isn't, and I'll tell you why. So this is a piece of Craigley sandstone. We can see that it's a very pale blonde sandstone. This building here is also built from Craigley sandstone, but it's had a few hundred years to weather away. So this eventually starts to look like this. So looks aren't always important. And nowhere more so than when you're restoring one of Scotland's most iconic objects, that fountain at Linlithgow. We've got an area here which is all the new stone, the original stone here, and they're just beginning to, to blend in really well, I think. Yeah, it, it, it's starting to not be. Dr Ewan Hislop leads the technical research team at Historic Environment Scotland. When it came to working on the King's Fountain, they turned first to the BGS Building Stones team's expertise. Okay, so this is the piece of stone from the fountain that was used for identifying a replacement, wasn't it, Ian? Yeah, that's it, Paul. I think it was um, obtained by taking a very small core plug. We sliced this up, made a thin section, looked at it under the microscope, 
um, and characterise all its properties so that we could get exactly the right match. The real puzzle was it's not actually, not actually built from the same stone type as the okay. rest of the palace. The stone that the palace is made from, it's a bedded sandstone, it's very laminated, um, and the stone splits very easily along there. So, so you could not use a stone like that for this sort of carved detail. Yeah, it just wouldn't right. work, it would, it would just split off. Yeah. The difficulty for us was how do we go and get some of that material today? Yeah. Um, and that's where the BGS records came in because we were able to examine records for quarried stone from all through the UK and we identified a quarry near Leeds of all places oh, yeah. which wouldn't have been used uh -huh. historically presumably to, for, uh, to give the, the, the stone for the fountain but was actually a very very good petrographic match and uh -huh. gave us the perfect material. <laughs> BGS holds a unique set of records and expertise in an area like this. It's really about ensuring a, a future for you know, our historic environment. A lot of the, the buildings around us are now hundreds of years old. They're just at an age now where they're needing repairs. They've endured very successfully up to now, but if we're going to give them a lease of life, um, we need to be making good evidence-based decisions, which is what working with an organisation like BGS we're, we're able to do. And it's not just Scotland's grand designs. Down the road in Linlithgow, a wall, next to the railway line. The top looks very distinct from the bottom, but as we provided the expertise for stone matching, here as well we know it's just a matter of time. And across the road, it was a similar story on a fairly ordinary looking cottage. Across Scotland, and across the UK, there are thousands more examples of our work in action. Right, so what we have here is another piece of Craigley sandstone. This one is special because it's in our sample collection. Around us we have thousands of samples from both active and disused quarries. It's the most extensive collection of building stones in the country and it's accessible to everybody. So if you would like to know more or if you think we can help you with your restoration project, get in touch with us, visit our website and remember, the secret's in the stone. <laughs>